Hey, what's going on? This is day one of how to make killer money with YouTube. Divistifying YouTube, what works and what does not work. There's a lot of talk about how to make money with YouTube and the things you should do and the things you shouldn't do. However, much of it is predicated on AdSense. If you're going to make money on YouTube, get yourself on an AdSense account and hook it up to your YouTube videos. I'm here to tell you that AdSense is the least effective way to make money on YouTube. This is going to be a standalone commentary, training, and educational tool for you on how to make money on YouTube. But before we get into that, here's a little bit about me. Why the hell should you listen to me <laughs> talk about YouTube? Well, I'm going to tell you why. I started YouTube August 6, 2009. I had no freaking idea what I was doing when I was started. I had none. I had a Sony CyberShot camera. I didn't even have the proper equipment. Made 200 plus videos with that camera. And I currently stand at 3.5 million views and 12,000 subscribers. It's really 12 and a half, but that looked kind of sloppy. Uh, probably be 13,000 at the end of July. This is the part that you care about. Made money from the first two weeks of being on YouTube. That is pretty good. Now, it wasn't a lot of money because the book wasn't ready, but I did a few consulting things. That happened within two weeks. At one point, 95% of my income was generated from YouTube leads. Now, what makes this so special is I was not a YouTube partner for almost two years. There was no other way that I could make money from YouTube other than selling my products and services. So, in a good thing, it's a very good thing that I wasn't a YouTube partner or I may have become indoctrinated. At one point, I was the biggest storage auction channel on YouTube and maybe still don't know. I haven't looked in a few years, but I know I had more storage auction content than anybody else on the web. And that's one of the reasons the channel was pushed up high. Transitioned into business only content and philosophy. Now I teach people how to make money and have a better life. I did all of this using YouTube with no experience. I want you to really, really think about that. Just like you, didn't know what I was doing, didn't have the proper equipment. Just one of the tenets of my philosophy is you must get going, you must get started. When you sit and you're waiting for the perfect opportunity, you're waiting for the perfect time to do what you need to do, you miss out. When I first started this, um, there was some distractors and some dissenters, but the storage auction business made me very hearty. I was able to uh, brush that off and keep moving. I would say if you're going to do this project, get a few wins under your belt before you start telling people. The big, big thing about this is this wasn't supposed to, to work. But I made more money than some of my friends who are traditionally published authors by utilizing YouTube, a blog, and a PDF ebook. So that's what I'm essentially explaining to you what I did, <laughs> my process, because it was incumbent on not using AdSense. We'll talk a little bit more about AdSense. Now, it is not what you think it is. And I'm going to explain to you why as we go on with this pr presentation. When you think of YouTube, you think of crazy videos. You think of people doing something inappropriate or music videos. Now, when you think of YouTube, you don't think of Warren Buffett. You don't think of business classes. You don't think of you don't think of that stuff first. You think of entertainment or current events first. Incidentally, those are the number one categories and drivers of YouTube. And there's something else that you should know. 90% of YouTube views come from out of the United States. And then I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We're in the United States. We're pretty big. Yes, we are. There's 320, maybe 330 million of us 
compared to the other 6.5 billion people in the rest of the world. <laughs> so understand that the things that don't appeal to you as an American may appeal to someone else who is in a distant land, distant culture, different culture. And if you've ever traveled, you know, we as Americans are pretty freaking jaded. Uh, we're pretty abrupt. The rest of the world's not like that. So that is one of the reasons it's so daunting to make money on YouTube. If you were to sit on Twitter and use the tools, there's several tools, several websites like what's trending now. And every time something was really hot, like Elliot Roberts or Elliot, whatever his name is, the um, the, the kid that killed all those people because he couldn't get laid. If you sit on these current events, and as soon as one of those things come up, you go ahead and you properly keyword your YouTube channel, you'll make money with AdSense because you could put up um, Jeffrey Meeks. Right now, that's the flavor of the internet. This is the guy whose mugshot was put on Facebook and went viral. The guy has six felonies. Okay, if you were to do a video and this doesn't really matter if your channel has a lot of content or not this could be your very first video you go ahead and like jeremy meeks is hot blank blank jeremy meeks hot facebook pick my you know get as many of those juicy keywords in there as possible do a video two five six minutes just talking shit about jeremy meeks and you may get two three four five six seven eight thousand hits well maybe not now because it's kind of coming down but as soon as that trended you went ahead and put that video up you wouldn't, I mean, you might get up to 10, 15, 20,000 views in a day because it's keyword, it's trendy, and everyone's looking for what's going on with Jeremy Meeks. What's up with this guy with the ice cold eyes and a rugged jawline? And what is it? And he's a guy that was arrested. And unfortunately, I bet you it was some female sheriff. She put his mugshot on Facebook, and the rest is history. Now, let's look at that. Does that solve a problem? Nope. Does it? Well, actually, it does. It solves the problem of boredom. That is how Facebook, YouTube, other social media outlets primarily operate on solving boredom and being a distraction. So if you go ahead and you sit on these trending BuzzFeed websites and as soon as some pops, you put up a video and understand you have to do this very quickly, very, very quickly. You don't have like, the, you know, next day because but next day is too late. <laughs> Everyone else that knows this stuff is already putting their videos up and whoever keywords it properly gets it ranked first. You will ride the coattails of that video unless you come up with better ranking and better keywords, which can happen. And I'll give you an example, say you do the video about Jeremy Meeks, right? And it's just your YouTube channel and your YouTube channel is great kittens love uh, Gus, something like that. And you get that 25,000, but then here comes the Huffington Post bam they put their video up but they embed it on their website and it gets like a hundred thousand hits in a day oh you're getting pushed down baby you're getting pushed down you can't deal with the huffington post muscle because they're going to just move you out the way however if you were like a super keywording search engine optimization person and you figured out it's like okay the huffington post did this then you won't go back and keyword Jeremy Meeks Huff posts and you steal their thunder, ride their coattails and suck off some of that AdSense money. I've studied this for years and I am a business channel. I teach people how to do stuff, how to make money, how to have a better life philosophy. So this isn't a current event thing because I've tried. I had another channel that I was doing current events on. I didn't really like the flavor of that stuff. It, it just wasn't something I wanted to do. I mean, I could do it. And if I really put the time and effort into it. Yeah, I'd probably be at three, four G's a month, AdSense money, but the content is not something that I really care about. If you care about current events, you're one of those people who run home and watch ET, this stuff may be for you. But the thing is, with current events and making money with YouTube, you don't pick the topics. You wait for the topics to come to you. But it's a very good way for you to get to decent AdSense money very quickly. You just have to be really on it and you have to go ahead and get your Google alerts and be on certain websites and things because that is where the money is. That is how you will um, take.
take AdSense money from that pool of attention. Now, this is something that's funny. Even if you're getting AdSense money, content is very, very important. Even if you're not getting the views because content brings your certain your demographics. So if you're putting up entertainment, you're going to get people who are bored and kids who typically don't spend money. Now, if your YouTube channel is geared towards something of substance, you will draw a different crowd because there was a guy, he did a video about his AdSense earnings and stuff. And he put it up and I was just like looking at it because I had one third of his views, but our AdSense money was essentially the same. So understand you could be getting a million views a month and not make a lot of money from AdSense depending upon your tribe, depending upon the people who come to your channel and digest the content. So even with crazy numbers, you know, you're looking at it, it's like, hey, what's the conversion rate? How many people come here and actually watch an ad or click on something or buy something? So there's a lot to be said with that. Now, this is another thing. Uh, this is day one. And what I want you to do before you create a YouTube channel, create a plan, just go through this series of videos that I'm going to create this week before you do anything. That way you'll have the information to create your channel to put together some stuff. And if you create a channel, you don't have to like rip it down or destroy it or take your machine gun out and go, T -t 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 -t. you don't have to do all that. But just understand that the best way to win on YouTube is with a plan. So, you know, why are you creating your YouTube channel? Are you creating it for fuckery? Are you creating it for profit? Are you creating, what do you want? You have to know what you want. Because once you know what you want, you will know who your tribe is and the people that you should be communicating with. Now, for those of you who are caught up in big numbers and like, wow, you know, I want like five minutes. I was making money off of YouTube videos with two, three, four, five hundred views. But they had a specific information uh, group of people. Uh, they, there was just specific information. There was a group of people that were interested. So before you go like, oh, God, I got to have a thousand views. I got to have, a, you know, people saying like, damn, you know, here's this video and it's only got 500 views. That's a lot of views. Do you know that over half the videos on YouTube do not reach 500 views? When you get to a thousand, 90 percent do not reach a thousand videos. 90% of the videos on YouTube do not reach a thousand views. So don't be getting caught up in view envy. <laughs> do your thing. Stroke it right. So once you've determined why are you creating the channel? What's the purpose of your channel? The best question you have to ask yourself is how much money do you want to make? Because this is what this is a question that people don't ask themselves. Uh, when I was doing my thing, the goal was, you know, if I can make $50,000 a year as a writer, I'm going to do with it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to do this thing, make it happen. And so I had some metrics to start off with. If you just like, I'm going to do a YouTube channel and see what happens. See what's it's wonderful. Let's see how this goes. And. You could get anything. You could blow up. You could be the next, you know, Gangnam Style. Or you can be the next walk, 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 walk. Usually it's going to be the walk, walk, walk. So to ask yourself and be real about it. Like, do you, what do you want to make? Because that will feed into a larger plan. Now, let's just jump into this. Why AdSense is not the way. When you're going for assets money, you become a click whore. You start looking for clickbait topics. You want people to, you know, it's, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. However, one of the things that you should understand about YouTube is it's an evolving ecosystem. What worked last year didn't work because uh, this morning I was looking at year to date numbers uh, from last year to this year, and it was a 58% differential in my favor compared to last year. YouTube switched some stuff around. So if you're always chasing the next thing or doing the next shiny object or being part of the trend, you're going to miss the benefits 
of YouTube changing their ecosystem. Now, this is something that you're going to really, really love. I spoke to a person. YouTube actually reached out to me. A nice lady. talked to her. And she was just telling me some of the things that they're looking at. Uh, some of the things. So if you notice, my videos now have that little three-second promo. She told me that was coming up. I, I can tell you, in the coming months, you're going to be able to do an outro. Essentially, what's going on with YouTube is that they're still going to have the artists, the recording artists. Actually, they're, they're changing that. A lot of independent artists are going to get kicked off of YouTube because of copyright infringement and stuff. All of the, all this stuff is going towards create your own thing. Create your own thing because they're, they want the older demographic because the older demographic clicks on those ads and they make money from those ads where they know the kids, uh, just like I told you, this one guy that had three times the views. Most of the people watch this channel of kids. They, you know, as Martin used to say, ain't got no money. They ain't got no money, man. They ain't got no money. So they're not clicking on any ads because they can't buy that stuff or that ads just don't appeal to them. But essentially... When you gear up your channel for your tribe, your, your, your whoever, understand the money is off of YouTube. If that video, just, just give you some simple numbers here, and there'll be a lot of numbers in this. If that video gets you 100 views, and out of the 100 views, there's 20 people who really like your $25 product, right? You know, 20 people that really, really like it. They're going like, we, we like this. We want a piece of the action. Um, we, we want you to make it rain. So it's $25 times 20. It's 500 bucks. The average person who gets that sense doesn't make $500 per month. Most of them don't make $500 in five months. In five. So you do that. And then you put up another video. And it, you know, it brings off some more of those people. And before you know it, you're rocking and rolling. And you're making way more um, money than AdSense from a very simple process. Now, with what the lady told me from YouTube that they're really moving in, expect some massive changes. And I know it's like, what? YouTube's already made massive. They've changed the layout. They've changed this. There's this Google Plus thing we don't like expect more change now this is why it's very very important for you to define you and your process when you define hey um i make steel flowers i'm just throwing it out there and you're appealing to the steel flower crew uh there's a lady i forget her name she did a channel reviewing nothing but disney toys it's up into like two three hundred millions She's not following the trend. She went with toys. She reviewed toys. People go there. It's like, ah, this is a good toy. So the, it's wide freaking open. But don't go chasing trends if you want to make significant money. Uh, someone may go through this course and they may become a person with an entertainment channel. Uh, the number one channel is an entertainment channel. P. Dewey, something like that. The kid is in Norway and all he does is play video games and acts crazy while he plays video games. Who is his crowd? Kids. That's his demographic. Kids. Because I watched some of his videos and it was like, okay, kids are watching this. Because it's something that's going to entertain a kid. And when you understand that um, 90% of the views for YouTube come outside of North America, there's kids around the world who are... Because understand, in some places, the kids have better video games than we do in some places they don't have the games we have. so they're just looking at this stuff like i said he's in norway so that's like europe but that's the number one channel entertainment but if you build there's another one i'm actually on her email list Kristen something she's a book consultant she put up a video keyworded properly and got a one client at the 200 view mark that paid her ten thousand dollars for her services 200 views ten thousand dollars let's compare and contrast there are many people who will not make that in a year getting AdSense after maybe a million or two views, maybe two million, maybe three million views won't get that money. So as you see, AdSense is the least effective way to make money. Now, I'm going to tell you how to make money with AdSense if you want to do it.
you need a ton of videos because there's two ways to make ad money with uh, AdSense. Loading up videos every day, sometimes two, three a day. Because what happens is you enter into the YouTube ecosystem and they're like, whoa, this, this channel is like pumping out content. Let's look at it. So you pump out the content. And then if enough people watch that initial video, when I say enough people, it doesn't have to be like thousands. If you can get like 500 or 1,000 within an hour, it pushes you up to the ecosystem. They start emailing out, hey, check this video out. They start helping you. So that, that's one way with a lot of videos because it's going to be harder and harder for one video to get a million or two videos i mean a million or two million views it's getting harder and harder because youtube is becoming more and more crowded youtube is not mature in any sense i think youtube's eight years old but it's still not mature the longer percent talking to the lady from youtube things are gonna keep going there's going to be more options. There will be more functionality. But once again, if you're working on your thing, because see what you're going to learn here is YouTube essentially will be a lead generation source for you. And if you can make a little money, if you can make a little snatch from AdSense, go at it. But for most people, AdSense money is not worth it. And the pool of money is being diluted every day. And let me explain that. When I became a YouTube partner, the AdSense money I was making was sick. And the reason it was sick, because the pool didn't have a lot of little fishes running around there just chomping on the money. Going, oh, yeah, here's a dollar. Chomp, chomp. Wasn't that many fish. You go in the pool and like, hey, Brad, what's up, G? You know, it was like you could see Brad. Brad would be all the way across the other end of the pool, right? But now you can't see Brad's ass because there's the pool is full and everyone's like chump chump. I mean, there's fish fights, their fins duking it out, trying to get that little cheese. So the pool's becoming diluted. That's another thing. So you could actually have higher views than you've ever had before and make less money because they've opened up the YouTube partnership to everyone, which benefits YouTube greatly. And also your focus switches to views and not a segment because as you build whatever you're selling, you're, you're going to have some properties. You're going to have your own website. You'll have a Gumroad account. You'll have some stuff that you control that you own to steer those people. Uh, one of the things that I've done for the last 18 months, I do have a website, Hustlers Food, but there's really not much on it, which will bring me up to my next point. You are better off getting your YouTube channel, putting one video up, and going around YouTube and commenting on all of the videos of everyone else, put your one video up first. Listen to me, put your one video up first. Then everyone that's in your niche or category, all the videos, you go bam, bam, bam. You you go ahead, you load your video up, make sure that video is on your Google Plus page. Then you just go, wow, commenting all over the place on these other videos that are out there in your category, niche, or whatever. Because when you do this, because you ever notice when you're watching the video and it'll, you'll see up there in that little badge and it says similar channels. And sometimes you're looking at channels. It's like there's some things in there that don't match. That's why, because these people have pushed themselves or their commenters have come in on several of these videos. And sometimes the YouTube analytical system doesn't get everything straight. But by doing that, you'll get more views to that one video than you would by posting a hundred because essentially when your cho your channel is brand new is invisible unless you do some of this trendy stuff <clears throat> excuse me uh, I used to do some of my main channel I moved away from it and I'm just going strictly on what I am doing now I have enough videos because I have <laughs> 900 videos so it's worth it I mean really it is worth it for me to do AdSense because most of the videos that are making most of the AdSense money are not sales videos. Now, a sales video, and then there's a awareness video. A video I just put up talking about, hey, AM Hustle. Sales video is like, hey, you know, how to make killer money with YouTube. The book's ready. Get it. Uh, sales video, there will be no AdSense on it because I'm trying to sell to you. I'm trying to sell you my stuff. Other videos where I talk about stuff, there will be AdSense on it because they once again they changed the other room because at one point I removed the, the ads from my videos because it didn't make any sense. I'll tell you, one month it was like 150 bucks. And this wasn't that long ago. 
then they did something and it switched again. But once again, when you have a plan, when you're focused on something, you are not switching up your process. So that's the reason I'm able to benefit because I have my own process. I have my own way to make money. And my whole thing is to get you to sign up to my YouTube channel for you to click that free audio book, then to get on my email list. And then I can market to you whenever I want to versus waiting on you to show up to YouTube, which may be once a month or whenever. So understand there are points of making money. You know, if you can make, because typically if you can make three, four, 500 bucks a month and you're not, like I would say, don't put any ads on your sales videos. Part of the reason I do regular videos and sales videos is I like it. I mean, I used to hate videos, but now it's fun. It is it's just it's just fun. And also, once again, I'm in the lab. I have to experiment. I have to put this stuff out there. And if I wasn't experimenting, I wouldn't know that YouTube had tweaked whatever they tweaked and I wouldn't benefit from it. Now, this is what works on making money on YouTube. And I inadvertently stumbled on the path to making killer money on YouTube. Create a product. I had a plan. That's it. Many people come on YouTube, just start something. Uh, there was a guy, he had an older YouTube channel. He got with a network. He deleted his first channel and created this new branded channel through the network. And somehow they kept most of his subscribers. I don't know how that happened, but typically you get rid of your old channel and have everyone resubscribe you're not getting everybody back it's just not happening so when he, how he did that was pretty smooth but once again you'll hear this all of the time with uh youtubers they're like uh this is what you do you know you don't your videos can't be too long talk to lady youtube they like longer videos uh you know respect your viewer don't do this all of these people were talking about making money and uh, you know, if you do the research, and this isn't everyone, but it's most of them, especially the bigger ones, they've been around a long time. Two words, MySpace and networks. Let's start with MySpace. Because if you remember, there was a point in time Facebook didn't exist. I know it's like, what? Facebook didn't exist in a form that it does. So what people who, and also it's about money. 2000, let's see. Yeah, 2006, you know, camera phones weren't as ubiquitous as they are. And the I mean, the cameras, the phones had cameras, but they were crappy pictures. You couldn't do videos like you can do them now. Um, definitely many, many things have changed. But essentially, 2006, if someone had a camera that was good enough to do great quality videos, they had money because a camera is not a must have it's a want it's a luxury item so those little kids were well to do well spoken and they were highly intelligent and they connected so what they would do is they do their youtube channel then go over to myspace and understand that was it there was no twitter no facebook no red none of this stuff it was just myspace and youtube so the smart ones went straight to myspace and you know, you just listen to these guys in the early videos. It's like, yeah, I got a thousand subscribers this week. Because they were benefiting from the natural the the newness of the internet and that rim. It was new. So I was like, yeah, I got a thousand. Uh, you know, and you will see them. It's like, yeah, trying to bake ten thousand subs this month. And they just started their channel because you go to MySpace. And then everyone passes it, you know, like what's that song? Pass the Dutchie on the left hand side. You know, pass, pass, puff. They would just pass it through MySpace. And since there was only YouTube and since there was only MySpace, there was really nowhere else to pass this stuff until Facebook and into Twitter and to these other Instagram and all those other things. But they benefited from a very limited environment. Limited environment. Most people couldn't compete because they didn't have the money. So it was the perfect storm for people who were smart just to come up and throw up some videos. I mean, one of the highest earning videos is like Charlie bit me. There's two, it's grainy and you know, there's two kids and Charlie bite the guy, the, the kid's dad said that video is paying for their college because they did it early and they asked and they put assets on and they made money. Uh, another thing is networks. Networks are very, very powerful. If you get in the right networks, I choose not to get in a network because 
what I do is so niche that it doesn't, you know, like it's not a gaming network or it's a makeup tutorial network. It doesn't really fit into that stuff. And I looked at it and once again, I'm betting my money on YouTube and I want to stay clean and free. And also, if you join the network, you have to disable all of the AdSense from your videos. It used to be a bitch. Now I think you can click one button and make it happen. But yeah, and also there's a transition period where you're not getting paid. Just letting you know, so when you jump from YouTube to a network, what can happen? The network's going to take part of your loot. Purportedly, they make you more money to make up for the loss. But essentially, a lot of the older ones, and there's some new people. There's one, uh, notably, Doug Notes, where this guy is giving you a street vernacular of classic works, which is funny as hell. Brilliant concept. And, you know, he's moving up there. But he's not moving up there as fast as some of these kids who did uh, MySpace back in the day. Just just wasn't. I mean, you know, if you remember Fred, the, the little gay guy, he came out, he's gay. And like people are like, really? Are you shot? Fred, you know, he like sucked on the helium balloon and he would just talk to his videos and speed it up and walk around real fast. That stuff doesn't last forever. It's kind of like kid stars when they grow up and not as cute. It's over. So when you build your channel on something of substance, it can withstand time because, like I said, this uh, August 6th, this is my fifth year on YouTube. You know, I look at that and I'm like, wow, that's kind of crazy. But I really believe uh, year six and seven, it's just going to go bananas, but it's the consistency because I have switched up some things, but everything goes back to how to make money. Storage auctions were about how to make money, how to you know build a business. I've just switched up on it and I'm going to push up and I think, you know, it will become better and better because I know what I'm doing now to a degree. There's still a, there's still a lot of learning to be done. All right. So that is it. Just making sure uh, that's it for this first session. Um, just to put in there. It was supposed to be a live webinar at 3 p.m. and I put it out and no one signed up. So somehow things got screwed up. So what I'm going to do is uh, I went ahead and did this and I'm going to have one tomorrow. I'm going to send it out tonight and everything. Make sure everyone gets on board and then we will try this again live tomorrow at 3 p.m. I just went ahead did this first session to get it done versus resetting, rescheduling. Uh, this is something else I've made from doing a lot of webinars. When something goes wrong and maybe the timing's not right or some glitch, I'm just going to record it, um, you know, communicate with the people later and put it somewhere where they can get it as fast as possible versus the rescheduling. Because all it does is just creates a lot of emails, a lot of drama and craziness. All right. So this is Glendon and I will see you on the good side.